Hey YouTube, it's Nikki B. Curly, and today I'm going to bring you something a little different. Um, I get a lot of requests um, from ladies to show how I do my makeup, so I filmed my first makeup tutorial. So today I'm bringing you this neutral look, neutral smoky eye with a bold lip for fall. Stay tuned if you'd like to see how I achieve this look. The first thing I do is take Milk of Magnesia, yes the stuff you use for upset stomach, and put it all over my face as my primer for my foundation. It helps decrease oil and also helps your foundation stay on your face. Then I use an eyeshadow primer. Whatever you do, always use a primer. It really helps your eyeshadows pop and stay on all day. The next thing is I put a base on my eyelids. This one's in skin tone since I'm going to be using neutral colors. For my lid color, I'm going to use a Sephora Moon Shadow Bake Palette, and the color that I'll be using is Peach. For my lid color, I'm going to use this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and just put the peach color on three quarters of my lid. I'll use that peachy color as my highlight because I don't prefer shimmery colors on my brow bone. And I'm going to use this dark brown, use a crease brush, and put it in my outer V. Next, I use this LA Colors Mineral Press Powder in Ebony to act as my transition color and also help blend out that dark brown. I use this fluffy blending brush. I then go in with a less fluffy blending brush and put it, dip it in the dark brown just to help uh, blend out that dark brown some more. And then I go back in with the fluffy brush, usually not putting any more product on it, and then just blend, blend, blend. Now I move on to my face and I use a mixture of my BB cream and my foundation. I use this flat e.l.f. powder brush to put on my foundation. For my concealer, I use LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn. I use this e.l.f. small stipple brush to blend in my concealer. The next thing that I use is this CoverGirl Press Powder in Tawny. It's too light for all over my face, but it's perfect for setting my concealer. The next thing I do is take this e.l.f. complexion brush and dust a little bit of my powder all over my face just to blend out my highlight and also set my foundation. This is the eyebrow pencil that I use for my eyebrows. I like it because it's thin and also it has a spoolie on the other end of it. Um, I use a spoolie to smooth down my brows before I draw them in. And then also to help blend the edges out when I'm done. My brows were active. So crazy this day. If you would like a more detailed brow tutorial on how I do mine, let me know below and I'll work on a video for you. The next part of my face routine is to do my liquid liner. 
Um, this is NYC liquid liner. I think it's $1.70 something at CVS and Walgreens. It is hands down one of the best liquid liners I've ever used. I like it because of the brush. It's very easy to manipulate and I like soft brushes um, instead of the hard felt tip. I personally prefer to put on mascara before I put on my lashes and today the lashes that I'm going to be using are number 47 Red Cherry. The glue I'm using is called Lock On Lash. I like this glue because you don't have to wait for it to get tacky like Duo. Another reason I like this glue is because the applicator is easy to put just a thin layer of glue on there and then I, how I apply my lashes, I stick it in the middle and then pull over each corner. I did this eyelash application in real time so that you guys can get a better detailed view of how I put them on. Next I put bronzer on my face. I put it down the middle of my nose, on my forehead, and also the apples of my cheeks just to highlight a little bit. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Sephora Lip Stain. The number is 07, I believe it's called Darker Berry. Um, I love this lip stain. It feels so good on and it has incredible staying power. So I put on a head wrap and that completes my makeup look for the day. Here are just a few pictures to see close up of how it looks. If y'all would like to see more makeup videos, please let me know in the comments and I'll do more. Thank you for watching.